For the past several years, there's been quite an effort underway to reintroduce trumpeter swans to the Blackfoot Valley. Beginning seven years ago with the first release, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service biologists felt that to successfully bring trumpeters back to the Blackfoot, they needed to bring local folks into the project. So each year we do a public release of the trumpeter swans. Sometimes we get some pretty special and unique people uh, that get to release these unique birds, and, and we were lucky enough to have that happen again this year. I've been losing my eyesight slowly over the last 15 years, and I love birds, and that's one of the things I miss most about my eyesight is being able to see the birds in the wild. Because I know what a swan looks like, but you know, when you can't see them, and then all of a sudden he handed me the swan, and, and then I felt the bird's heartbeat right against mine, and it's a, it's a once in a lifetime experience, and I really appreciate the fact that I, I got to do that. One, two, three. Presently, we've got eight different pairs of trumper swans. Four of those are actively nesting in the Blackfoot Valley this year. And so we will continue to release swans until we have seven breeding pairs that are successful in raising young over three consecutive years. It's a big job keeping track of these big birds. If you see a trumpeter swan, especially one with a red collar, you can report your observation by going online and typing in, adopt a swan. This is Mike Grunett, out among Montana's Fish, Wildlife and Parks.